Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel and want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. Some updates from John before we start the video. Long story short, John has the D-Max guards, the BN kit, and the Gandors all scuffed and primed, ready for base and clear. Hopefully by the end of this upcoming week, he wants to have them done. He expects to have a not so busy week due to Christmas and families just relaxing, spending time together, all that good stuff. So crossing our fingers, him and I, to have the rest of the kit done before Christmas. We are both as eager as all of you to see the Scons exterior finish, the kit bolted up. I am eager to get the remaining interior back in, ready to drive this car with the full kit on, get some nice high quality photos from my friend Colton and Ben, and also maybe a couple videos too to post on the channel and for their channel. So super stoked. So again, crossing our fingers, hopefully by the end of this upcoming week, we will be ready to go. But welcome to the channel. Today we are finally going to be washing and paint correcting the Nissan Skyline. This Saturday marks the official two week period, the Skyline has been painted. John actually told me that once he's done painting and the car comes out of the booth after baking that I could have washed the car, gave it the paint correction it needed and ceramic coating. But for me, just peace of mind to be safe. I just waited the full two weeks. Paint is cured. Paint honestly doesn't have too many imperfections. Initially today, I'm just going to be cutting and buffing the first layer of clear to get any remainings or any imperfections from the first layer in the first coat. But Skyline again came out amazing. I cannot wait to see how much more the pearl is emphasized after we get all the dust off and the car is washed. Of course, after I paint corrected and add the ceramic coating, the paint is going to shimmer even more. And of course, the products we'll be using today will all be from Adams Polish. They hooked me up. Their products were great for all of my t Dell jobs I've done in the past three, four years. I'm excited to try out their new line of graphene. We got the detail spray, and we also got the ceramic coating. Also ordered a plethora of new towels. We got all of our essential pads, foam, microfiber for cutting, our one-step pad, which honestly, it's all I'll probably be using is the one-step because the paint is pretty much, there's no imperfections other than a little bit of dirt, which is easily taken out. So we'll hit it with the one step, finishing polish. We'll go ahead and seal the paint and then we will hit it with the ceramic coating. Again, I'm incredibly soaked to finally cut and buff and ceramic coat the Skyline, but just as nervous because again, fresh paint, don't wanna burn any of the clear coat even though we got three nice layers of it on. Should be a pretty time consuming project, but not as long as when I first ceramic coated and paint corrected the Skyline. Long for me, but again, short for you guys. The Skyline looks amazing in the sun, I wish you guys can see how much the glitter is emphasized in the sun. Cameras and pictures do not do justice at all. Just got done washing the skyline. I covered everything that I thought needed to be covered just in case before I start the skyline. I'm gonna make sure the engine bay is completely dry because we got these crevices here wrapped my air filter. 
but so far so good paint looks amazing still forgot that since the skies are so hollow water does get in here but not a well quite a bit but i'm gonna make sure i wipe that down pretty good there's really no way around that honestly because there's already a crevice here just how these cars were designed but next step is drying we'll clay bar the whole skyline and then we'll begin our cut and buff update so first wasp was a huge success before i started the car of course i made sure the engine bay was as dry as it possibly could be i let it pretty much air dry and wiped it dry for a good 45 minutes also used the leaf blower to blow out any excess water it was nerve-wracking but everything is a-okay got these surfers all nice and prepped paint is incredibly clean the pearls let's see a little bit you can kind of see all the various blue and gold pearls in the paint of course like I can't emphasize this enough you got to see it during the day so I was intentionally I intended to paint correct and ceramic coat the skyline today but John said there's still a lot more prep that has to be done to the surface he told me to thousand grit all the excess paint nibs that are on the paint that come naturally then to hand block the whole car at 2000 grit and then at 3000 grit and then at 4000 grit and then finish it off with a 5000 grit and then polish clay polish again paint correct the 2000 grit scratches and then hit it with the ceramic coating i'll be honest with you i've never dealt with i would say using wet sanding during any of my detailing projects in my career for my side business so i'm going to actually let his detailer take on this project he said it would be best so i don't mess up and he has to respray a panel of the car which of course makes sense and he said also we should do it too once the kit is done so everything is done at once so i'm <laughs> just gonna go ahead and go with that option he said also there's that slight hue of like orange peel you can't really see on camera but the paint will come out flatter of course the clear coat once the whole car is wet sanded with the two through five k grit and i'd rather have the skylines paint looking as best as possible can especially since i paid a lot of money for such a good job so with that being said thank you everybody so much for making it to the end of the video i truly appreciate all of your love and support and i hope you're all enjoying the content that i'm putting out for you the paint series is doing very good and of course it's helping me put out more content skyline is almost finished it has been a crazy year for everybody and especially me and i'm so grateful for the amount of progress i've made on the skyline with my bonus check that i'm getting at the end of the year i will be using some of it to buy the garrett 3076 r turbo the six boost top mount manifold and i'm going to be running id 1050 injectors and once we get those all in and installed we can finally utilize the haltech elite 2000 Pro Series ECU that Evan will be tuning. And then at that point, Skyline is completed. Until I either get done with the Prelude and or buy the next build. I don't, I do plan on going RB25 in the future, but I'm really enjoying the RB20 and I really don't build my cars, of course, to make crazy amount of power, but I think 300, 280 or 300 will is very achievable with the skyline but thank you everybody again for your continuous love and support and if you're new to the channel and want to hit the subscribe button that'd be awesome and remember aim high drive low we'll catch you next video take care